that is uh, the internal energy we just talked about, right? Internal energy. This piece of this P V term is the flow energy. Whenever something is flowing, whether it be a gas or a liquid, it has energy inherent in it, and it turns out to be the product of pressure times volume. That's a work term. If you if, you're, if you know, there's a slide coming up here, it, just remember a cylinder. Pressure times volume is the work. That's the flow energy. So it's two terms coming up, um, or two terms in, manifested: in internal energy and flow energy. So when we do these first law of thermodynamic problems with streams flowing into and out of it, that's going to be our total energy. This enthalpy, total energy of a flowing stream. Let me, let me just make a note of that. And it'll it'll make a lot of sense when we look at these some of these open form systems of the first law of thermodynamics. So H equals enthalpy. Total energy of a flowing stream. So that's how much energy a stream carries into or out of a control volume. Okay, so important idea. And a lot of times uh, we may need to work with this formula. Uh, if we just have the internal energy and the pressure and the volume, we can get the, uh, uh, we can get the um, enthalpy. Now, very important here too is this conversion factor of G. There's two really important conversion factors uh, for, for thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. Probably the most important is G sub C. Probably the second most important is this J conversion factor. Okay. Let me highlight that and explain this. Ah, uh, let me let me just make the highlighter a little thicker so it's easier to read here. Okay, J is uh, 778 beat, foot pound force per BTU, Joule's constant mechanical equivalent of heat. So that is available in the NCWS handbook. I'll turn the highlighting off for just a second. You can see that is, uh, oh, that is not blue.